what was, what, what, what would be the coincidence of that taking place? And, and now, of course, the cricket, the cricket. Who, 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 who are England playing? Oh, of course, out of all the teams possible, South Africa. <laughs> are you saying this isn't a coincidence? They're testing me. They want to see how much they can push me. They wanted to see what kind, what, what, how the heart works, how the mind works, how the soul works, how they can give someone something, how they can make someone feel so happy, how they can make them feel that they were in love and then take it away from them as if it's just a game, a toy, something they can play with. That's what I am to them. That's what they want to see. They want to see how I would crack, how I would react. Maybe they wanted to count how many tears would roll down my face, how many lonely nights I would have after that. How I would spend days after days trying to make sense of some kind of relationship that never even take place. A person that doesn't even exist. Someone who said, I love you so many times, and yet then could turn around and say, I don't love you, I never did. It was all a game, I just wanted your money, your attention. And now you can go. You saw me put regain on my hair because I'm not getting old. I don't know how many years this has been taking place. Am I really who I am? Is the body that lays upon that table that has the same face as the one that you can see? The one that I can see in the mirror. Is it me? Or is it just a form that they've created? Do I die and then I'm reborn as someone else over and over again? I don't even know that. I told them at work. They know. They must know because at work I'm the only person who can just walk around and do whatever he pleases. I don't even have to work. How do I get away with that so much? Of course. Because it doesn't really exist. If it was true, I would not still be working there. They would have fired me years ago. But they do not. They respect me. <laughs> Don't you see? That's because none of it is real. None of it is real. But they can't see it. So many things. So many examples I try to explain to them, but they, like you, will not understand, will not believe, because it's so impossible to believe, because you're within my mind anyway. And even if I wanted you to believe, I have no control over that. No control whatsoever. I sometimes wonder, when I'm not with people, do they just cease? Do they just stop? Or do they continue? Is this illusionary world that was created within my mind, is it like a game where a programmer has programmed the main storyline and what the characters will do, and even if you're not there, they're still moving about? Is that what it's like? Because I, I can hear voices sometimes. And if I can hear voices, that means someone is real. But how far, how much vicinity are the people still alive when I'm around them? Does the whole of half of the world sleep while I'm not there? Does it even exist? <laughs> Obviously, it originally existed when it was on the planet, but, but now it's in my mind, now that I'm the last survivor of mankind, or one of them, and maybe this earth has been destroyed millions of years ago by some senseless war, maybe even by these people, maybe I was taken upon that war. Why am I even thinking these things if they don't have some kind of basis? Am I tapping into the very things that they are saying. Telephone ring. That's one of them, isn't it? A coded message when I pick it up and put it against my ear. 
then I should be programmed into believing whatever I can't answer it. How many of the times it rings, I can't answer it. Because that's what happens. I put it against my ear, and then I wake up the next morning. Where's the rest of the day gone? Tell me I'm imagining that. <laughs> Tell me. Of course you can't, can you? Unless you're one like me. Unless you can see the signs. Unless you can see outside the dream, the dreamscape, the dreamlands, whatever you want to call it. This illusionary world that doesn't even exist. How many times have I played a Paul McCartney record and the very lyrics seem to echo my very day, my very life, my very feelings? <sighs> of course. Is that possible? Of course it's possible. But at the very same moment that I'm feeling the very same thing, the very perfect song comes on and makes me feel. That's what happens in movies, in cinema. Because it triggers something and that's what they want to do. They want to trigger emotional responses. Maybe. Maybe the world is still there. Maybe everybody is still alive and I've just been plucked out from them and they want to first see what we are capable of, how we work, what our minds are like before they come and destroy us all or maybe this is the way they're going to do it by getting with inside our minds. Creating something that doesn't even exist. Do wars take place? How much of this is reality and illusion? I don't know. I used to think this as a child. How that what I felt inside whether anyone else felt it. When I talked to myself within my mind, because, and I thought that the answer was this, that humans can only perceive themselves, individuals. Although we are a collective, we, we only feel and think as individuals. And I used to think, can they read my mind? Can they hear the words I'm saying in my head? I used to think, do they feel at all, or is it only me who feels? Because it always seemed that they would just exist and do things, whatever they wanted, and yet, for me, it would be such a struggle. Of course, and now it makes sense, because none of this existed. And have I really lasted this 33 and a third years, or, or is that time span just moments? Have I just woken now? And this is the start of the illusionary world and I don't know and that's why all these thoughts are coming to me of, of this truth and soon they will have ironed it all out and I will have forgotten and carry on living and I won't even know that this is illusionary and I will carry on believing it's real, like you. But it doesn't matter what, what you do, what anyone does. I mean, it doesn't matter at all, it's not real. <laughs> at the moment I'm engaged in a relationship with an actress from a soap I forget her name Izzy I think what, what, what's the chances of that <laughs> of course chances of millions to one. <laughs> but that's what's happening. They're testing me. They're testing mankind to see how we we'll react. They want to see whether I'll fall for someone again, and I will. Because I believe. I believe. And who knows, maybe this person will be like me, can see outside the box. Maybe you. 
Don't tell me you haven't lied down at night and looked at the ceiling and just thought, did that really happen? Is it really possible? Or sometimes when something unique happens that seems almost impossible or you know something that you shouldn't be able to know, as if you have been able to scan the next page of a book without even reading it, knowing what's going to be there, what's written, and being right, precisely. Coincidence? Good fortune? Is it?